board of directors. Rick, email it to me because this isn't coming up right. But you don't have you don't have it in email, do you? I, oh, I thought you did it. I don't. I, we I don't. got it. We got it from Matt, and I don't know. I don't know. I just have printed copies. It might be that um, uh, 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 Cynthia has it, Latonya. You want to just have Dennis do it, Latonya? Yeah, don't have it. Yeah, Dennis. Okay. Okay. So I nominate Dennis Bosick. Board action is requested to close nominations for temporary president. Any motion? So moved. So moved. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Second. Second, Ms. Garcia. Thank you. Board action is requested to elect Dennis Bosick as temporary president for the reorganization meeting. So moved, Johnson. Second Garcia. Thank you. So the temporary president will now take over the meeting we'll and administer the oath. We need a vote. We need a vote on Dennis. I'm sorry, everybody. So we can do a voice vote on this, right? That would be the best way. Okay, okay. So um, all in favor of um uh, that's right. Board action is requested to elect Dennis Bossick as temporary president for the reorganization meeting. We had a second, uh, and so we need a vote on this. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? The motion passes and Dr. Bossick is temporary president of the board. So our first task here will be to administer the oath of office. So if you the newly elected people could please stand and raise your right hand and we'll do I in your name. We'll do all four of you and then we'll uh, uh, do the unison. Uh, let's start with Ed. I had I Donovan. I Juanita Thorpe. I Vanessa Boothry. I Robert Trout. You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And Constitution of this Commonwealth. And Constitution of this Commonwealth. And that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. And that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, Rick has papers we have to sign. So, oh, let's just, let's just sign these this time. You have to sign the oath that you We will now switch seats from the old board members leaving out to the current board members. Thank you, Debbie, my, um, Debbie, Marsha, and yes, Latonya you for your guys. services thank that you, you provided. Juanita and whoever the other three are may now take a seat. And good night. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Our next um, order of business here, Board Action is requested to open the nominations for President of the Wilkinsburg School District Board of Directors for 2022. So moved. Second. Second, Johnson. Thank you. All uh, agree to vote on that as well. Uh, All in yeah, favor? We have to vote. All, All in favor? favor. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? What? Go ahead. Um, so the um, board action is requested to um, to open the nomination so we can. Um, I would like nominations for the president, please. So moved, Johnson. Which one? 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 Which one
we're still we're still looking for nominations. For for president? Yes. Yeah. I nominate Ed Donovan for president. Thank you. That came in simultaneously from two people. I take it as an honor. Thank you, Michael. I'll second. I'll second it. Well, wait a minute. So he just nominated Ed, so now we need a motion. Okay. Okay. So, board, so, Sure. Board actions requested. Um, Are there any other nominations? If not, close the nominations and then you vote. Okay. Hold on. Board actions requested to close the nominations for President Wolf, Wolf District Board of School Directors. So we need a motion to close the nominations. So moved. So we need a roll call there. That was that. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. It has to be a roll call. Yeah. Roll call. Voice vote. Voice vote. Voice vote. Voice vote. Okay. okay. All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. No. So we could just talk down to the Thanks, there. Michael. I wish you were here. No. So. Yeah, and I, I, I admit must have misunderstood you in our, in our conversation the other day. I thought we we were doing this virtually. I'm sorry. I'm that was my fault. It's all right. I'll try to save you a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> so board action is requested to approve Ed Donovan as president of the Wilkesburg School District Board of Directors for 2022. Second. Second. Voice vote. Aye. 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 Board action is requested to open nominations. Oops, I'm on the right one. Board action is requested to open nominations for vice president of the Wilkinsburg School District Board of Directors for 2022. I nominate Dennis Foster. We're, we still got, we got to do the the thing in the motion, Michael. You're forgetting how hard, how ridiculous this agenda is. Yeah. We have to. Um, so, we have to. We have so to. Uh, Johnson. Thank you. Is there a second? Is there a second? Uh, All in favor of opening aye. nominations? Of opening nominations. Yes. Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Nominations for the office of vice president are now open. I nominate Dennis Fawcett. I nominate Monica Garcia. Winners, second any of the winners. So, uh, so, all right. Board action is requested to close nominations for the office of vice president of the Wilkinsburg School District Board of Directors for 2022. So moved. So moved. So that was actually one in a second. Okay. So nominations are now closed. The way this works is uh, we go around to every eligible voting board member by name of the candidate. Either say yes or no when it comes to you for that particular candidate. Okay? That is how we do it, isn't it, Rick? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. So, pardon me? You only get one yes, but. <laughs> no, because we do it two times. Actually, why don't we just do it where you call the name? So, who are you voting for? No, no, and you're doing, you're on the right track. But if you get if if all nine of y'all are there and you get nine yeses on the first one, it's done. Right, right. But do we go around and vote by each candidate's name, or is it simply that you name the candidate you want? No, simply just say all in favor of Dennis Bossett, and you get your yeses or noes. All in favor of Martha, whoever has the most, then you roll. You know, roll with it. Okay, got it. Okay, okay. I'd like to Doctor Bossick, I think, is withdrawing. Is that true? Okay. Uh, Okay, 
So I wonder if we don't need a motion. We don't need a vote on you with mine, do we? No. Okay, got it. Okay. So Dr. Bostic has withdrawn. Yeah, so, yeah, just make it a more part of the record that um, add Dennis Bostic decline the nomination and move on. All right. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, good. So nominations are closed, and so Monica Garcia wins the vice president by acclamation. Because that's that. So yeah, we still got a vote. Yeah. You still got a vote because you, okay. you still got a vote. So it's on okay. record as to how many votes she actually got. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, yes. Board actually requested to approve Molly Cadenas' as vice president of the Wilkinsburg School District Board of Directors for 2022. So moved. Second. Uh, I'll second. <laughs> So we need an all in favor. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed. Okay, that motion passed. So congratulations, Monica. Okay, um, everybody has a list here of the committee, um, uh, committees and liaisons. I put one at everybody's place. I think you should have one. There's one missing, um, and that would be the capital, uh, capital improvement uh, committee. Um, so I want everybody to think about that. So far, Mr. Strauss has indicated that he's willing to um, take finance. Now that he knows more about it, and I promise that I will um, uh, assist him in every way that I can. So, uh, and curriculum, Vanessa Bluthbury offered to uh, chair curriculum. So we have a couple opportunities left. We need a liaison to Forks Road Career and Technical Institute. We need a liaison. That, the, the commitment there is one Thursday evening meeting per month. Uh, we need a, 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 a liaison to the Eastern Area Special Schools, Special Education, uh, and that's one Wednesday evening meeting per month. We have finance, we have curriculum. We need someone for the Parks and Recreation Committee. I'm sorry, Michael? At Forbes Road, when you said Forbes Road, uh, what time of day? I'm actually, I, I work in Moreauville, so I could, uh, it, depending on the time, I could actually if I'm not mistaken, it's usually in the evening around five thirty, six o'clock. Michael, yes, I've been. I have been the liaison this past uh, year and a half, two years. So they meet uh, generally at six o'clock on um, let's see Thursdays. It's their general meeting. Um, I, 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 I could possibly do that. I get off work at five, but I could actually stay a little longer. In, uh, so, Ed, I, I could probably take over the four drone. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Okay. I'm glad you did. Actually, I was just going to ask people to think about this for the next meeting, uh, but um, where you'd like to serve, but that's great. So thank you, Michael. We need um, someone to work uh, on the Parks and Recreation Committee. That's a lot, a whole lot of that is working with Mike Milberger, who organizes our summer youth program. Mike's really great. He's very involved in, the, in nature and environmental issues, but also about kids' activities um, across the boroughs. Juanita would take that one. Thank you. All right. Now, policy. Uh, let me explain this one uh, so you can either think about it or say yes now. Um, we uh, we discovered this year that a lot of our policies are dated all the way back to 2004. It was the last time they were revised. So we hired the Pennsylvania School Boards Association to go through all of our policies for us. They provide templates of the most current policies for every specific area uh, in, in operating the district. They're in that process now. They bring us three to five new policies every month. So the policy chair's job really is going to be to read through those policies, possibly compare them to the old one, talk them over with the superintendent, and make sure that they fit our district, um, and then bring them to the board uh, for, for approval. So that's what it would mean to, to, to be the policy chair. It's not a committee that has to meet at any particular time. It's whenever the newest batch of policies come in for our review, get together and decide whether they're ready to go to the, to come to the um, uh, board. And I think Eric might have expressed interest in that. All right, then there, there's one, two other things, and we can talk about these next week. We desperately need someone to volunteer to work with Rick on updating our facility rental form. Every year, it's an incredible headache. I know this sounds like duh, but it's really complicated. 
and we need to make it a simple form and a, and a simple approval process. So by next week, hopefully somebody will offer to put in a couple of hours to work with Rick on that. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, facility and uh, capital improvement is a, um, uh, that's a committee that meets just about every month to look at where are we with spending money uh, this year devoting most of that to Kelly primary. Um, this committee will probably get busy in January or February when the report of the architects comes back. And usually at least half the board members attend these meetings because everybody cares a lot about that. So. I'd be interested in that. Okay, thank you, Dan. No, we don't have it yet. Do you want it? I couldn't tell if you were asking me because. Oh, I didn't have to. You didn't put it out to the. Oh, I thought I did. Didn't I mention that? Okay, okay, okay. We need the liaison for Eastern Area also. So if anybody is able to make that commitment now, that's great. Uh, if not, we'll ask again when we meet in two weeks. How long? They're extreme. They are notoriously short. I'm serious. It's the shortest board meeting you will ever have attended anywhere. Um, at Sunrise School. So if you go uh, past Monroeville 122 into that sort of business area, past Spitzer Toyota, you know, out in sort of Murraysville, and you, uh, yeah. a couple of flights out there, you make a left go up the hill, and Sunrise School is right there. And that must be a back way. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, good. All right. And what we do is we let one another know if somebody can't attend, so somebody else can fill in. But Eastern Area and Forbes Road are places where we have serious financial commitments. That's why it's important for us to have somebody there. All right, thank you. That was that went way easier than I thought. Um, are we going to have a person? Yeah, that's. Oh, I thought didn't I go that far down the list? Um, Vanessa texted me today and said that she would like to um, uh, lead the curriculum committee. If I'm not putting words in your mouth about that, so we said yes to that. Um, Meetings about that will probably get busy. The superintendent can drive a lot of that, but the, I think the biggest thing for that committee this year is going to be um, working on uh, helping to evaluate uh, what we're going to do about mathematics, the mathematics education in the district. So we're taking a look at some programs that we have, like a lot of programs to see what's working, what's not working, so uh, and we'll look at that strategic plan. Thanks, Vanessa. So that's that. Other than having somebody go over the fix the rental agreement, that would be great. Um, any questions on any committees or any of that work? All right. Board action is requested to approve the. Hang on a minute, I got to flip. Board action is requested to approve the 2022 Wilkinsburg School District Board of Directors meeting calendar per attached. I don't think it's attached here. But as you see below, the planning sessions, planning and legislation. Oh wait, that doesn't give the dates. Planning meetings are the second. To, oh, it's on the fourth. Second to third Tuesday of, of every month. Legislative meetings are the fourth Tuesday of every month. Yeah, here for this presentation. Is that the agenda? I'll skip it. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. It's, we're, we're just not, it's the first time we've done it with this, with this um, remote setting. All right. So, uh, can I have a motion about accepting the, the uh, meeting calendar? So moved. Second. All right. So that was uh, Bosick and Strauss. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? All right. Motion carries, and that just continues meeting exactly the same way we've met for um, decades here. Um, all right, that's it. Board action is requested to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. There's coffee, cupcakes, stuff like that right around the corner. Our business for the evening is finished. In 29 minutes. Thank you. Thanks, everybody who was here. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I know we have to find a way to report it. Oh, okay. Bad thing about sitting here is I can't see that.
Oh, I'll bring my laptop now. Okay, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I got it. I've already seen that. So we'll be able to see it. Okay. Yeah, really, exactly. Because it's.